What drew me to the character Mr. Wiggles? Well, um, it's the title character. Come on, Mr. Wiggles, it's about me. Of course it's not. Um, but that was that was very interesting. It's nice to play the, the title character, although not the lead. Um, and uh, to, to play someone imaginary, because you can invent what you like. And thankfully, what I invented, um, the directors liked. So I got the part, and that was... Um, uh, really enjoyable because um, I could just fall into the part. I played quite a few nasty parts, including for, for uh, one of the directors, Steve. Um, and this time I got to show the other side of Doug or my acting. So, yeah. And what did I bring to Mr. Wiggles? Um, apart from the fantastic Tash um, and the rather loopy hair, um, I think I bought an understanding of being a parent because um, I've got kids. Um, thankfully, I knew the, the fantastic child actors, um, Brian and Hope, um, so that made that easier. Um, but what I bought myself, I think, was that experience, and I'm quite childlike still, and um, a bit immature. So I could imagine myself as a child, um, and to just bring out that he's a teddy bear, but then he's a live character, and I kind of imagined that maybe he was them imagining maybe their mother's father but putting it into a teddy bear kind of thing. Um, so I guess that's what I brought to Mr. Wiggles. The most memorable part for me um, was probably the pasta bag. Um, fantastic, I was ready for it, I can tell you. Um, it was pretty chilly out there sometimes. Um, and um, to have that food and a hot kettle and nicking the DOP's hot chocolate, brilliant. That was the best part. No, it was working with everyone. It was fantastic. It was really, really good.